page mapping. This is really important that we get this right because the first page in your sketchbook is going to set the tone for the whole project. It is also there for you to refer to at any point in your project where you're feeling stuck for ideas or you want to reconnect with your theme, you go back, you can refer to it. So spending the time at the start of the project to get it right is going to be really valuable. So what exactly are we looking for? Your mind map should not just be your theme in the middle and lots of branches coming randomly out of it. It needs to be broken down into categories. So it should look a little like this example. We should see your ideas connected to your central theme in the middle. From your central theme, there should be subheadings. From your subheadings, then you should have lots of little branches coming out of those subheadings. So it is categorised and it is incredibly specific. This should be able to be used for your ideas throughout your whole project. And we should be able to read every single tiny part and even the very tiny specific parts right on the outer part of your mind map should relate to the central theme. There are some examples on the slides coming of some successful mind maps. 